Okay, we've talked about the kazoos. Now I want to talk about the dramatic, fantastical paintings by Jerry Kearns that directly inspired Pale Face. From the beginning, I had this vision of the images of Jerry's paintings going behind the trio, but I was looking for counterpoint. Uh, kind of, what if we could have a new relationship between image and music where the two would be trading off between foreground and background. In other words, not like film music where the music is tightly synchronized and slaved to the image, or like the video and light show behind a band where you can't really figure out that there's any connection going on. I was looking for something very tight, maybe like a few. Kern's paintings are ideal for this approach because they are so contrapuntal and layered themselves. He takes iconic figures from Western pop culture. The gunslinger cowboy, the detective, the action hero. And he juxtaposes, layers, and sometimes confuses us with them. He talks about them all being engaged in power struggles, but that they fluctuate between being protagonist or antagonist. And a lot of times we don't know who's winning and losing. Above all, he explores how these mythological narratives reflect our own constructions of reality. So these paintings wow us with their splashes of color and energy, and they're damn funny too. That's what reels us in. But there's a powerful haunting underneath all of that razzle-dazzle. You spend more time, you look at the layering, and you notice that the characters don't actually touch the ground. They don't really interact with each other. And there's other elements of darkness all around them. This haunting was what inspired me to write the piece and find a way to interact with these paintings.